Hi, uh, today we will see uh, how we can log into EC2 instance Ubuntu server or uh, any Linux server uh, through command prompt, window command prompt. So first we will launch the EC2 instance from the console. So we will click on launch instance. We will select any uh, server. So I'm selecting Ubuntu server. then t2 micro we are taking the free tier uh, and then uh, we will leave everything as it is if you want to give any tag you can give ssh uh, we will log in through ssh uh, so we will see uh, we will leave it as it is then we will launch we will create uh, one key pair cmd key uh, ubuntu key login by cmd so i am giving this name okay i am copying this downloading the key after that we will launch the ec2 instance uh, so it will take uh, around the two to three minutes. Uh, so uh, I will wait for uh, that time. So yes. Uh, so now uh, two by two, uh, two check uh, has came. So our server has uh, deployed. So uh, this key pair has downloaded in, uh, means uh, downloaded in download uh, folder. So here. So. We will copy this. This is a PEM file. Uh, uh, by this, we will log into our EC2 instance. Okay. So uh, instead of login with uh, uh, putty, we will log in through command prompt window command prompt. So uh, here I, we can see. So first, we will go to download folder by CD download because uh, my uh, key pair has uh, downloaded in download folder so login so now uh, i came in download folder directory so here we will type ssh dash i then key pair key pair name we will type with pem file okay then we will write the username so i uh, launched the ubuntu server that's why i am giving username as ubuntu if you uh, use the amazon ami uh, then you can give ec2 dash user okay then i will give the public ip address of our instance so now we will enter and then uh, are you so want to continue uh, connecting so i will write yes enter okay let's see now we logged into our ubuntu server okay so now you can able to see uh, we logged into ubuntu server okay so here we can do anything so it is uh, very smooth and uh, if you want to change the font size or anything so just uh, right click on top then go to property there you can change the font size, layout, colors, anything uh, you want, you can change it, okay? So thank you.